I'm so excited to finally bite the bullet for one of my top wishlist items from Chanel. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I've already filmed the whole unboxing, except that my camera was not on, so... I'm just gonna do a reveal at this point. <laughs> so anyway, it came in this box and it came in this beautiful dust bag. Very standard to reveal. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, actually you can't really see. It's, it's the trendy CC. Let's unravel her because she is such a beautiful bag. I am actually so happy and also so nervous to own this bag. I'm sure you guys understand because it's all lambskin. Oh, so this is the small size Trendy CC. And Trendy CCs are made of lambskin all throughout and it's also leather lined. I feel like the leather lining is actually maybe calf skin because it feels a little bit more durable on the inside but on the outside it's all plush, really, really soft lambskin and it's beautiful. Look at her in all her glory. So beautiful. Beautiful Chanel plaque. The stickers are still intact on here. Isn't she just so shiny and beautiful and soft looking? She really is very soft. Like the handle itself. I love this handle because it's very generous. It's very soft. It feels different from caviar. It feels different from calf skin. Look at the back. And then here's the side. It's in accordion style. It's actually a really large bag. It's very generous. Love, love, love how classic looking it is. I love the top handle. This top handle is so comfortable and it's so soft. Um, very easy crook of the arm. I feel like having the top handle will also kind of uh, avoid a bit more wear and tear because by me holding it by hand, it doesn't swing around. It doesn't knock on things as easily. So I'm relying on the fact that I am probably going to use the top handle most of the time. So even though the Trendy CC is a seasonal bag, as far as I know, they are kind of a permanent style in a way. They do come back every once in a while. And so mine is from the current season, so from 20A. And the one that I have has these rounded stoppers, which I actually don't mind. I prefer these over the T-bar actually. Also means that you cannot remove the straps. It is a 30 series. So yes, we are already in the 300 series down inside, which is pitch black, which is going to be a little hard for you to see. But basically there's three compartments. The back compartment is the slimmest one. The middle one is the largest one. And the front one is kind of a medium size. And it also has a lipstick holder, kind of like the classic flap. The trendy CC is completely lined in leather, which is the reason why I want to protect it even further and I anticipated buying this bag so I got organizers ahead of time. Here they are, they're from Samorga and I chose it in the cherry color. I also want to thank Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video. I love working with them. I am so honored to be partnering with them. I love that their organizers fit perfectly inside your bags and they also protect the inside and also helps you stuff your bags when in storage. So for the trendy CC in the small size, it comes in two different um, organizer pockets. There's a smaller one and there's a larger one. The smaller one is just a simple sort of um, single layer. The larger one has a little bit more of a depth and it does have one slip pocket. I went ahead and put the middle organizer in the middle compartment. As you can see, it fits perfectly and it also helps the structure of your bag because lambskin is known to be a very soft leather so in time it will tend to crease and also mush together especially if you don't stuff it. As you can see there is this other compartment here with the lipstick holder. The beauty of having organizers also is that you could use them or you could also opt to not use them but I definitely like having them for storage because especially for lambskin bags I definitely want to try to preserve the shape as much as possible especially from the side. I don't want them to collapse and I don't want them to crease too much. Let's take a look at what I put inside just to give you an idea how everything fits with the organizers. Sunglasses, lipstick compartment, there's this slip pocket here and then there's this other slip pocket here that came from the bag and I just put my car keys and my bag hanger there. I'll link this one down below because it's very very sturdy and I love 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 highly recommend this. iPhone XS Max. The back pocket doesn't actually need an organizer just because it is such a slim compartment and you don't want to stretch it out. In the main compartment I have my 
vlogging camera, card holder and key holder, the six key from LV. Two lip product, one lip balm, one lipstick, and also my vitamin D. This could also be your hand sanitizer. Back pocket, I just wanted to put something slim in there, and this is my coin purse. Now you might also have these SLGs. So I have here the Emily wallet, so it's a full-size wallet, and the mini pochette, so I'll try those for you as well. Full-size wallet does fit inside, especially the main compartment, and it fits just right. Right now, my mini pochette is rather empty. It does close up. So I just wanted to show you that it does fit. It's not really SLGs that I will use for this particular bag. Of course, the mini pochette will also fit in the main middle compartment as well. And it's actually an easier fit, uh, especially, you know, you're not just going to have an empty mini pochette inside your bag, right? Another look at the inside of the Trendy CC. The organizers from Samorga fit like a glove. I will link to the exact organizer that I have and mine is in the color Cherry. And if you wish to buy anything from Samorga, you can also use my coupon code to save 20% at checkout. The Trendy CC does look a little bulky when worn crossbody, but I just wanted to show you that it can fit crossbody, especially if you're petite. I'm 5'4 and the top of the bag does hit right on top of my hip bone which is the perfect length uh, it's not my preferred way of wearing it I definitely don't feel like this is a crossbody bag if anything I think this is a great shoulder bag it looks really really good and I love that it gives me a little bit of a briefcase look but my favorite way is definitely top handle and I just think it's so elegant with a beautiful dress or even a suit or jeans and sweatshirt that this bag is so versatile looking. I just love how versatile it feels, how beautiful it wears with a beautiful dress, but I know that it will also look amazing if I dress casually. I just think this bag is the ultimate, ultimate Chanel bag in my opinion. I think I like it more than the classic. I have my Chanel 19 in the small size and the small size trendy CC. And as you can see, they look very similar in size. So you can tell that um, it's pretty generous. Uh, width wise, this one is even more because of the accordion style. And actually weight wise, the trendy CC is actually more heavy but I do plan on using it by the handle, which is why I didn't mind the weight on the Chanel 19 because I love this top handle. It really makes a whole world of difference. I often get asked about the difference of lambskin on the Chanel 19. So just so that you see, I don't know if you can see like the visual difference. So my Chanel 19 is in the lambskin and then this is also in the lambskin, but this lambskin is like, you know, their classic lambskin. It's the one that does scratch easily and that you really do have to baby and be careful when you use it. Whereas the Chanel 19 one is treated in a way that it doesn't, it really doesn't scratch easily. And it, it's, it just feels more durable. When you touch it, it's still soft to the touch, but it feels more durable, if that makes any sense. Whereas on the Trendy CC, you don't feel that there's any coating per se. It just feels like the classic lambskin on their classic bag. As you can see, the mini size cocoa handle is pretty small. Um, obviously, the mini cocoa handle is really more of a mini bag, to be honest. It does fit more than the rectangle mini, but it's still pretty small compared to a more decent sized bag like this one. Truth be told, the Trendy CC has never been on my radar in the past. I would say it kind of creeped into my radar maybe about the last year or so. And that is only because I've started accepting more about different materials such as tweed and lambskin. I do have three lambskin bags now with this one included and then one tweed bag so i'm definitely more open to different materials second of all i love the design it just looks so classic but i also like it more than the classic flap look don't get me wrong the classic flap is amazing but when it comes to functionality i just love having a good top handle i love to have the option of shoulder wear and crossbody wear so something like this 
just seems like the perfect combination to me especially with the leather brake here I feel like it would be pretty comfortable to use I guess I am nervous because it is entirely in lambskin and even the interior is in leather although the interior leather does feel a little bit more sturdy and I do have organizers inside of course I'm already a very careful person in general and I always treat my bags with care and with love but it's still a lambskin bag so I know that I have to baby it a little bit more especially from corner wear and even for creases around the corner based on my constant stocking on Instagram and just my research in general this bag seems to be a very versatile bag you can dress it down you can dress it up it looks like a little briefcase because of the little top handle and the shape of it it does weigh more than the Chanel 19 that I just showed you earlier so it will be a little bit more of a learning curve I'm sure but I just love the luxuriousness of it definitely gained in popularity over the over the past year I think I've seen so many unboxings of this bag and I I believe for a very good reason this bag is not cheap by any means it is actually my most expensive bag in my collection now but I feel that you do get your money's worth it is all completely lambskin it is all leather line and it does have that extremely good versatility it is a very good size so hopefully this will be my last Chanel bag of the year unless they come up with some extraordinary piece in the next new collections but I feel really content with this one and I feel like I can finally finally concentrate on my other wishlist item which is an impossible one but I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about if you follow my channel I hope that you guys enjoyed this reveal thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye